One person is dead tonight. Several others hurt after a semi truck flies over an overpass into traffic below. News Channel 8's Victoria Price joins us now live from I-75 and Fowler Avenue, where Krill's crews are still cleaning up this fiery wreck. Victoria. Yes, Jen, still a very active scene out here nearly seven hours later. Crews hauling away that wreckage, continuing their reconstruction. Fowler Avenue still closed, and officials say expect it to be this way for much of the night. Thick black smoke caught on cell phone moments after a semi truck flies off Interstate 75, bursting into flames. Florida Highway Patrol says just after 4 o'clock Tuesday afternoon, a car merging onto 75 northbound collided with the semi. The semi lost control and crashed down onto Fowler Avenue, crushing a car driving eastbound, investigators say, and killing the man behind the wheel. Five vehicles total caught in the carnage, including the truck and its cargo. This is a bad situation. The chain reaction crash backed up rush hour traffic for miles in all directions. You need to avoid this area. It's going to be like this for a while. As tomatoes and car parts lay scattered across Fowler Avenue, investigators began the reconstruction. Troopers reopened the interstate by 9 p.m., but under the overpass, much of the work was only getting started. We're told the truck driver suffered serious but non-life-threatening injuries. And again, still no word on when to expect Fowler Avenue to reopen. Of course, we'll keep you updated in our News Channel 8 app and in the morning on News Channel 8 Today. For now, reporting live in Hillsborough County, Victoria Price, News Channel 8.